What is good with it, YouTube? Fight fans all over the world. It's your boy, the realest of the real. Yes, sir, I said it. Real Talk Boxing. It is a privilege and honor and a major blessing to be back with you beautiful people yet again. And now, <clears throat> it's been a hot topic. And I, I was supposed to make a video about this yesterday. But, I mean, I was just being lazy and I didn't really feel like posting anything. Plus, I was spending some time with my daughter playing video games and whatnot. So, now... I want to talk about this hot topic and I've been, you know, getting other people's opinion and, and, and everyone is insight on this as well. Before I decided to make the video, Tony Weeks, this whole situation with Tony Weeks and the early stoppage and ruining the fight for everybody. And now it turns out that um, there was some health issues going on with Davis. Um, now, first off, I don't know what's true or what's not true about this whole situation. But the only thing that I do know for sure is there, there are going to be some serious repercussions for a handful of people in this whole situation. Now, according to what I gathered over a couple of days about this, is that um, uh, Davis actually had an aneurysm uh, show up during a physical, a scan, a brain scan. I didn't even know they did, they did brain scans um, over boxers before a fight. I knew that they went through a physical, but I had no idea that they did a brain scan. Um, and he actually had it show up in two different occasions. And then they went and got, I believe, the Nevada State Athletic Commission um and did a, a third scan and find and they found him clear. They cleared him to go, they cleared him to fight. And that was the reason why Tony Weeks stepped in and stopped the fight the way that he did. Now, let me just say this. There's a lot to talk about, so I'm going to do my best to go slow and not miss anything. First of all, I want to say this. I was one of the many who was jumping all on Tony Weeks' case about ruining a fight, ruining a fight for everyone, just messing it up for everybody, right? And now finding out this happening prior to the fight, I still don't feel that much better about Tony Weeks. And here's why I'm going to say that. Because Tony Weeks let the cat out the bag. Tony Weeks said that, hey, this is the reason why I stopped the fight for the public who doesn't know. This is what occurred. And for Tony Weeks to know that and not say anything beforehand, still, I frown upon that kind of stuff right there. Okay, yeah, you knew. And you decided to save this dude before he actually really gets hurt, possibly die. But in any other case, in any other event, you still knew that this man had three brain scans and twice the first two came up that he had had an aneurysm. So I still don't think that much differently. Regardless of how you look at it, Tony Weeks probably ain't going to ever referee again because he knew this information. Now, the sport of boxing is not boxing anymore. It's business. And if this is true, I can see it happening because of... Um, Virgil Ortiz's long layoff, um, you know, a handful of canceled fights. Um, they didn't want to prolong him anymore. So if Tony Weeks knew, best believe Golden Boy knew. And they went ahead and let it go anyway. They let the fight happen anyway. If this is the case, if all of this is true, how horrible is Golden Boy? To know that this man had an aneurysm show up on two scans and let this fight happen. I mean, somebody's life is on the line. Now, I don't know what fully went on, but all I know is this. It could it could, it could have gone many different ways. You know, Davis could have been like, you know, um, not Davis, excuse me, Lawson. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about who Barroso fight. Lawson, sorry about that. Lawson could have been like, listen, I know it showed up. Let's Let's get somebody else. And clear me because I need this money. I need this bag. You know, I, I, he might need it. He might have needed the money. But I just don't see why any doctor would let that go. Regardless if he need money or not, 
Your life is on the line, man. And it's just a whole debacle that I don't truly understand. And I, I don't. It's, it's, it's horrible. Any way you look at it, it's bad. It's still bad on Tony Weeks. It's bad on the doctors. It's bad on Golden Boy Promotions. It's horrible. It's a horrible look. You understand? And did Virgil Ortiz know anything about it? Possibly. I don't know. Again, I don't know what's true and what's not true. But I know this. It was an early stoppage. And I didn't think something was wrong in that manner. I thought, here's Tony Weeks again. Here, here we go again. He did it last time against Barroso when he fought um, Romero. He said, and his excuse then was, well, he's he's an older fighter. And, you know, I wanted to kind of look out for him. But you let, you let, what's my man's name? The light heavyweight. What's my man's name? Badu Jack fight with an open gash, not a cut, an open gash in the middle of his face. For how many rounds you were drenched and bathed in his blood? And you let that fight go for how long? See, there's a lot of things that we need to look at. Because there's a lot of people praising Tony Weeks for coming out, giving this information, and stopping the fight when he did, when he did. But they're still not talking about the fact that he knew about it because he put it out there. Nobody else did. He did. He wanted to get that heat off of him. So let me put this information out. And it's not a good look on him either way you look at it. It's not a good look. So I don't I don't I don't expect to see Tony Weeks ever refereeing again. You, you know, I don't care what angle you're looking at it. Shame on them all. If all of this is true, shame on them all. Because to what expense would you go to put on a fight? Somebody's life? Lawson's life, it's not worth it. I don't care how big big of a name fighter you are. There's nobody's life worth putting on a fight. Y'all could have easily got y'all a last minute replacement. And it would have been done with. Everybody would have still got the bag. Virgil Ortiz would have had his big comeback victory. You know what I'm saying? And some people are saying that, you know, it's, it's De La Hoya trying to protect Virgil Ortiz. I don't protect him from Lawson. I don't know, man. There's a lot of speculations on on why the, the the stoppage was, you know, stopped in the manner as it was. But you know, according to Tony Weeks, it's because of the scans and uh, aneurysm showing up two times, and then knowing he was cleared the third time and not saying anything and let the fight go on anyway. Shame on everybody. That's my opinion, and that's my take on it. Let me know yours. Comment down below. Let your boy Real Talk know. As always, respect all. Fear none. God bless. The next time, Real Talk Box. And I'm up. And I'm out of here. Bye, y'all.